everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am an expat from Finland and I have now lived in the Netherlands for almost three years and I have absolutely fallen in love with this country and I think there are so many great things about this country and I thought it would be a fun idea to share those things with you. During this video I'll also be taking you guys around the beautiful city of Leiden where I live. But yeah, let's get into it. Number one is the cities and architecture. As you can probably see from my background, the cities here are very, very beautiful. And I really personally love the Dutch architecture, the old style houses, the cobblestone streets, the little bridges. Like everywhere you look, it's just so beautiful. And I can really notice how good it is for my like mental well-being that it is so beautiful everywhere. Honestly, here in the Netherlands, most cities are like this like most cities here are beautiful of course there might be some cities that are not as nice which is the case anywhere in the world but for me the majority of cities that i have visited have been beautiful let me tell you guys i visited quite a few cities here in the netherlands i for example love photography and stuff so for me that's just perfect and i don't know just going out for a walk is so lovely when it's so beautiful everywhere Another thing I want to mention is how close by everything is. I live in the city of Leiden and within like half an hour I can get to Rotterdam and Amsterdam and within 20 minutes I can get to Delft and Harlem and within 10 minutes I can get to The Hague, within 20 minutes I can get to the beach, like it's crazy. The Netherlands is a very small country and everything is relatively close to each other so it's really easy to go on a day trip just to another city like back in Finland where I used to live usually if you wanted to go to another city it meant that you should stay the night for at least most places because the places are so far away from each other but yeah that's not the case here and as someone who likes to explore and travel and make travel videos that's kind of perfect So not only is everything very close to each other here within the country in the Netherlands, also like the geographical position of the Netherlands is so nice for someone who likes to travel around. I can now jump on a train and within less than three hours I can be in London or Paris or Dusseldorf, like there are so many options in Finland. Yeah, you can of course fly or you can take a boat to Tallinn or Stockholm, but that's pretty much it. Like if you wanna go to another country, usually costs a bit more time and money than what it does here. So yeah, I think it's amazing and it really feels like we're in the center of the European hub and I love it. I know nature is probably not the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about the Netherlands as there's not like big mountains and such things but I would like to say that I actually really like the nature here in the Netherlands even though it's maybe not as accessible as in Finland for example but there are still some great places to explore there are great national parks, sand dunes, beautiful beaches, forests and big parks there's a lot of beautiful places also within nature to explore in the Netherlands. <laughs> hello doggy, hello, did you come to say hello to the video? Bye bye doggy. The Netherlands has a really rich history and culture. I find the history intriguing and interesting to learn about. And also I love exploring and learning about the Dutch culture and visiting places like the windmills here. There are lots of great museums and windmills and flower fields and so many places to visit and explore and where to learn about the Dutch culture and history. Okay, I'm now walking here by the windmill and it seems like there's people going inside of it. I've never seen that before. Like it's normal that you can visit windmills here in the Netherlands, but I've never seen this exact windmill being visited before. Does it cost something? Is it free? Let's go and investigate. Thank you. 
I swear I hadn't planned on visiting this windmill. It was complete accident. I had just planned to like film with this windmill in the background. It just happened to be so that it was open. I never even heard before that you could visit this exact windmill. So yeah, but I think that just comes to prove my point that I just said that there is so much to see and do in the Netherlands. I love it here. Look how beautiful it is from this little window here. Wow, so beautiful. So the next thing I want to talk about is the public transport here in the Netherlands. And yes, I know a lot of people like hating on the NS and that there's always problems with the train, when in reality it's not actually that much problems. There's problems with the train pretty much anywhere in the world you go. <laughs> That's just the reality. But in general, I would like to say that the public transport system here in the Netherlands is great. The infrastructure is really good. You can basically get anywhere with a train or bus or tram or even ferry. And it is very easy to use. Personally, I don't have a car. And to be completely honest, I haven't felt like I need a car. I can pretty much get anywhere I want to with public transportation. And I think that's great. Another thing I'd like to mention is there are also always events and activities to take part of in the Netherlands. I swear every single weekend there is some kind of event going on in Leiden and even if not every single Saturday we have the Saturday market here and yeah there's always something going on, something to take part of, some kind of event and I love it. Oh no, why do I feel like these two seagulls are trying to steal my food? The next thing I'd like to mention is the Dutch food. I know the Dutch food is nothing fancy and I know a lot of people love to hate on it but to be honest I quite enjoy it, at least most of it. It is simple, yes, but also pretty good and there are really a lot of good things that you should try if you ever visit. For example, you should definitely try these mini coffertjes that I am currently eating. You should also try the huge Dutch pancakes. Of course, let's not forget the Gouda cheese and the strobe waffles. The Dutch apple pie is also so good and the fish in the Netherlands is very popular. Another thing I'd like to mention about food is that there are also a great number of amazing restaurants here that you can find in pretty much most cities in the Netherlands. If you're planning on visiting the Netherlands, I would especially recommend trying the Indonesian and Surinamese kitchens because they are so, so good. Another one of my favorite things about the Netherlands is definitely the flowers. The Netherlands is famous for its tulips and is even the biggest flower exporter in the world. But it doesn't end there. Throughout most of the year there is something blooming. It starts with the cherry blossoms, then come the daffodils, magnolias, tulips, roses, sunflowers, wisteria, dahlias, so uh, yeah. The list goes on and on and like of course these flowers bloom everywhere in the world but here is just on a whole other level I feel like. The Dutch also seem to love placing flowers everywhere. People will have a bunch of flowers in their yards, by their door and when walking in the city you will see flower decorations almost everywhere. Something I find really cool about the Netherlands is how good the water engineers here are. Like the Netherlands is actually for a big part located below sea level. So a lot of it technically shouldn't exist or it should be underwater. And the Netherlands should have already by now lost quite a lot of land to water. But to know the Dutch are so good at water engineering that they have managed to pump out the water with the help of windmills and canals and stuff so that they have been able to keep 
keep that land and not only that they have even been able to create more land which I think is quite crazy in fact there's a whole province here in the Netherlands that is pretty much been gained through this water engineering it shouldn't actually exist but the Dutch decided hey we want to make our country a little bigger <laughs> so they did and I once heard about a saying that went like the God created the earth but the Dutch created Netherlands and I think that's pretty awesome The last thing I want to talk about is the Dutch people themselves. What I have really noticed is that the Dutch people are really like life enjoyers. Even when there's the littlest amount of sun shining, the terraces are immediately full of people. Everyone's out on their boat in the park having a picnic, just really fully enjoying the day. Like I'm sure most countries and like people in general like to enjoy life, like obviously but I feel like here in the Netherlands it's just more visible somehow like you'll really see people outside enjoying and having a good time and there's just like a really good atmosphere in general I often see for example that people will bring these chairs and tables out from their apartments down to the street and then they'll just be having dinner right by the road or walking street with their friends and I don't know I find that very wholesome somehow I just feel like the Dutch are just in general very very easygoing people and they enjoy a bit more of a slow, relaxed pace of life. Most people here in general are also just very, very friendly and easy to get along with and yeah. Even I am now at the moment at one of my favorite cafes here in Leiden, just enjoying some iced tea on the terrace because why not? Life is to enjoy, right? For anyone who's maybe thinking about moving abroad, then the Netherlands is a great option. It is very expat friendly. There are a lot of international jobs, people speak English and a great place where to live with good life quality and everything. I probably could have come up with even more things, but I think this is good for now. Please let me know in the comments what is something that you love about the Netherlands. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel to see also my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye! Ah, stupid wind! Okay, one thing I don't like about the Netherlands is the constant wind, especially when I'm trying to film!